Everyone knows that Kamala Harris, like most politicians, talks out of both sides of her mouth. And like her role model, Hillary Clinton, she also adopts various different accents, depending on the ethnic group or the region of the country that she's speaking to, trying to appear as if she's one of them. But in a shocking act of actual journalism, this is not a deep fake. This actually is a real CNN segment. They reported on some of her campaign commercials, which actually are presenting different messages depending on whether she's trying to target Arabs or Jews. And in this case, she's not just pandering to them. Each message is diametrically opposed to the other. Tonight, mixed messages. A K-File investigation this hour finds Kamala Harris is targeting crucial battleground voters with vastly different messages on Gaza and Israel. Hmm. This ad is running in Michigan, which has the largest Arab population in America. Which, on a side note, one of them where the entire city council had been taken over by Muslims, they did the right thing and they banned the display of the rainbow pride flag on public property <laughs> last year during Pride Month which upsets many of the liberal locals who thought that they were getting plenty of diversity, a sense of betrayal, liberal dismayed as Muslim-led U.S. city council bans pride flags. Many liberals celebrated when Ham Tramp, or however you pronounce that, Michigan elected a Muslim-majority city council in 2015, but a vote to exclude <laughs> LGBTQ plus flags from city property has soured relations all. But back to Clown News' report, and uh, there's a reason why they're actually doing this. Not that they're trying to get back to their roots of an actual news network. Something else going on here, but let's continue. What has happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. Hmm. All right, well, it's a very different story for an ad in Pennsylvania targeting Jewish voters. Let me be clear. I will always stand up for Israel's right to defend itself. And I will always ensure Israel has the ability to defend itself. And continue to give them the $5 billion a year in aid that, of course, we, the taxpayers, have to fund. Because the people of Israel must never again face the horror that a terrorist organization called Hamas caused on October 7. Different message. Andrew Kaczynski is out front now. So, Andrew, those obviously do sound um, mm -hmm. starkly different, yeah. to say the least. Tell me more about what you found. Well, you see, this isn't about actual journalism. This is about a certain group of people at the network getting upset that Kamala is pandering to our sworn enemies, the Palestinians. Yeah, that's right. And this, look, this really illustrates the sort of fine line that the Harris campaign is trying to walk here in the closing weeks, closing days of this campaign on uh, the issue of Israel. Here you have two entirely different constituencies, and they are getting two entirely different messages. There are often uh, times these constituencies have very opposing views on this. If you are a Jewish person in Pennsylvania, you saw that ad that you're getting. Uh, you are getting that ad that talks about how strong uh, strong she is in Israel. If you're a Muslim voter in Michigan, you are getting that ad uh, on Facebook that's talking about um, talking about how she won't be silent on the issue of Gaza. Now, what's really interesting here? What's interesting here is that Elon Musk's pack actually did the exact opposite. He started showing the Jewish voters in swing states what her views are on Gaza, and then started showing the Arab voters in swing states that she's pandering to Israel. <laughs> Pretty brilliant. And you got to also give credit to the Harris campaign because they saw what he was doing. And then they decided to reverse engineer his scheme and then did the exact opposite. Comedian Rob Schneider has an entire bit about Kamala's pandering by trying to mimic various different ethnic groups' accents. No, but let me tell you, Kamala, she does different accents, you know, depending, <laughs> depending on where she is, you know, down south. Let me tell you something. You boys better get it together here and vote. Save democracy. Black community, she's like, let me tell you something, honey. Mm. Let me tell you right now, uh-uh. Mm. We ain't vote for Trump, uh-uh. I even saw her at a 7-Eleven going like, listen, it's very important that we vote for the, the Democrats. We're trying to save democracy here. We're trying to save democracy. 
But this time around, the Democrats pandering to black people isn't going according to plan for two reasons. A, many of them have thankfully joined the Trump train, and B, black men aren't really warming up to Kamala. Black women, of course, and women in general, you know, they have a very high in-group favoritism rate, like another group of people you're not supposed to criticize. And so they are in the bag for her. But black men, that's another story. I understand uh, why the Democrats are nervous, uh, but Kamala still has to be shoring up the vote of the people who should be in the bag. You know what she did a couple of days ago? She went to a barber shop, a black barber shop uh, in Philadelphia to get the, the black man vote. Wow. Um, and because, you know, if there's one thing uh, black guys in barber shops love, it's when a woman stops by and monopolizes the conversation. <laughs> uh, always a winner. And. Uh, they're getting so desperate to try to figure out what, if anything, they can do that the Clown News Network brought Don Lemon in studio, who they fired last year for being a complete buffoon, who is trying to reinvent himself as a YouTuber now. And I will just say that you texted me right around the Democratic convention and you said, I am talking to people and Kamala Harris has a problem with black men. Yeah. And I told the campaign I did not hear from them. I mean, who am I <laughs> for them to get back to me? But... The like they don't already know. There's a problem. And I, look, I went to from battleground state to battleground state. When they invited me to the convention, I didn't just want to fly there. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and talk to voters in battleground states. And I did. It was not curated. I went up to people just doing man on the street. I said, who are you going to vote for? Black men. And time after time after time, they said, I'm voting for Donald Trump. Why? <laughs> now, there are reasons why. Now, there are reasons why. They said, because most of the time they said, well, you know, for economic reasons. For economic reasons, which is closely intertwined with the illegal alien invasion problem. And here's what the Harris campaign did in Milwaukee the other night, hoping to inspire black men to support them. They brought out this talentless tramp to spew noise pollution, whose name is Glorilla. Get it? She's not a gorilla. <laughs> that would be racist. Of course, if a white person were to say that, she is a Glorilla because she's tough like a gorilla, but she glows because she thinks she's beautiful. Hey, it's 7 p.m. Friday, Trump. it's 95 degrees, huh. I ain't got no hitter, and no hitter ain't got me. let's go, I'm about to show my, Bye. these hitters love them, how Okay, that's more than enough. I can't even translate this jive into English because I have no idea what language this creature is speaking. And if you don't vote for Donald Trump, then you personally will be responsible for subjecting us to this for four years. We're four days out. Who here has already voted? Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, my goodness! That's great! Thank you! <laughs> I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for new here and check back on a regular basis. 3,000 more subscribers, and we'll finally flip over to 1.9. So continue to share the links on your social media feeds. Give the channel a shout-out. Encourage other people to come and check it out. So thanks for all your support. Stay tuned, and I will see you soon.